The things I like to do are basically things outdoors. About eight or nine years ago, I got into tennis, and I love the whole social aspect of it. And I play with my husband and lots of women around town. We have so many beautiful places to hike. And several years ago, my husband and I got into hiking the peaks. So we'll just pick a peak around the area and go up. So that's been kind of neat. Just really love to support our kids and go to all their activities and events and just be a family. So I was headed downstairs to pour myself a cup of coffee and the coffee cup fell out of my hand. So I went to clean it up and I got down on the ground and I cleaned it up and then I couldn't get up. My whole right side, so my right part of my face was droopy and my right arm, which the coffee cup fell, um, was not moving or my right leg. Next thing I know, in comes my husband returning from his workout, and I'm going out on a stretcher. She came in with right-sided weakness and difficulty speaking, and began suddenly in a relatively healthy, I mean, very healthy person, came out of the blue all of a sudden, which is typical of a stroke. And one of our expert uh, emergency medicine physicians here provided her with uh, timely care. The reason it's important to give timely care is that every second when you're having a stroke, you're losing millions of, of brain cells and therefore function. So the medication that we give, which is a, a clot buster, is dependent upon opening up that circulation quickly. The national average from door to treatment with the clot buster is approximately 70 minutes, and she got treatment within 45 minutes. So that's clearly a best practice and can only happen with significant coordination of many departments within the hospital. They immediately after they gave it to me, put me in the helicopter and got me to Boise, gave me another CAT scan and MRI, and then got me into the ICU. I was talking to my husband and I kind of started talking crazy again and losing my right side. So they gave me another CAT scan and MRI, and by the time they gave me it again, they saw that um, blood was moving in that artery, so through the clot. And from that minute on, I was ready to leave the ICU. I mean, I didn't. I left the next morning, but it everything just came back, and I had no nothing. So and I was hiking two days later. <laughs> St. Luke's Wood River has been able to offer a lot of services that are pretty remarkable given the size of the community. It includes anything from technology such as uh, the MRI scanner, the CT scanner, our new beautiful women's imaging center, our ER endowment which enables us to continue to have board certified ED physicians, pediatrics endowment which has reintroduced pediatrics into the valley. We're really excited that here recently the mental health clinic had its grand opening. We've been working on it for many, many years to enhance the access to mental health services in the Wood River Valley. In order for us to continue to be one of what I consider the top critical access hospitals in the country and continue to offer programs and services that you generally do not see in a rural area, we're going to need uh, our community support. I could not ask for anything more for the people that showed up at the door. They were on it. I think they were communicating with the hospital. I think the hospital was on it. And I just, I'll tell you, laying there, it really made me a sense of comfort just to know that they were all going to be there for me and to see the smiles and to see the calm faces and to know the history of the people that were meeting me there and how well trained they were. I was just so blessed and so glad to be going where I was going if I had to go there in the first place. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So, yeah, I am blessed and proud and happy to, to live here for more reasons than one.